Salaam uh, dear viewers. Uh, welcome to another episode of Young and Gifted. Um, it's obviously been a while since we were last on air and uh, we're glad to be back, alhamdulillah. Um, hope you guys have been well. Um, Eid Mubarak to everyone uh, who obviously uh, celebrated Eid yesterday. Um, hope you know, everyone had a, a wonderful, enjoyable day uh, with your friends and family, uh, however you spend it. And obviously to everyone who uh, is celebrating Eid today, again, Eid Mubarak to you guys. Hope you're having a, a wonderful day, inshallah. Um, Give us a call actually, you know, let us know how, how, you're, how you actually spent your day or how you, know, how you normally spend your Eids. Um, and, and if you're one of those guys or girls who normally hire a car and are up and down Green Street and then up and down uh, Brick Lane and up and down Ilford Lane and all the other lanes, let us know what, uh, what sort of, how it is to be honest, because um, I'm, I'm always uh, wondering how it is uh, driving up and down those roads. Uh, on a busy day, but you know, alhamdulillah, um, hope everyone is enjoying their time, inshallah. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's been, it's, it's been a while since we were on, um, and it's, it's uh, definitely great to be back. And obviously, if you guys have forgotten, uh, just to introduce my co-host, obviously, Mahboub Ahmed. Um, stayed a bachelor, still looking for a wife, inshallah. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, no. Um, now, Eid is obviously, it's, it's a wonderful time, it's a joyous time, uh, where we get to, you know, not just meet our friends and family and often you know relatives that we haven't met for a while but it's also a very like a non-healthy day where you know we get to just scoff and eat anything and everything that's put in front of us what did you eat yesterday yeah i was just gonna get to the yeah i was just gonna ask you the same <laughs> question to be honest because it is it, one of those funny days where i mean even my mum right yeah. my mum su um, suffers from diabetes yeah but on that day she says you know, Everything any, everything's allowed. Yeah. Everything's, it's Eid day. Yeah. You know, you're, it's not going to cause any harm to your body on that day, right. apparently. But um, yeah, so you know, it, it's one of those days where we, we often eat like non-healthy food. You know, we're eating, you know, tons of samosas and tons of nunod bara. Yeah. I love that stuff, to be honest, right? Shandesh, but handesh, handesh, and whatever. anything oily, basically. Yeah. It's, it's all oily and deep fried, fried and everything, <coughs> deep fried. Um, it, it's also things which don't generally... Breakfast is samosas and yeah, pakoras exactly. and... And yeah, and stuff so it's, like it's, that. it's stuff that, you know, in the long run, if you think about it, it's actually harmful for our body, Badly. but we do it. Yeah. Mm. But the problem is that if we were just doing this on the Eid day, that'd be one thing. But then we sort of forget that, okay, if certain foods are just to be eaten on an Eid day. Or on an occasion. On an occasion. But we sort of forget that element and then we move on to, you know, having that sort of dietary and that sort of lifestyle for the rest of the year. Now, today's episode, inshallah, is... Which we're trying to discuss about healthy living, healthy lifestyle, and why among, predominantly amongst Bengalis and sort of Southeast Asian people of you know, that origin, why they suffer from certain types of illnesses, which are again, like I said, prevalent in, in Bengali people, you know, things well, like if, your if diabetes. I, if, I, if I can just put it out there, yeah. Southeast Asian people, mainly uh, Bengalis, Indians and Pakistani people, uh, we're more prone to obesity related illnesses such as um, heart disease, such as cholesterol, diabetes um, and, and such like. So today we're trying to establish and get to the bottom of why are we in that position whereby we are more at risk of these illnesses than any other um, genetic groups, for example, whites, Europeans, uh, even black people. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we just want to look at our, our lifestyles, <coughs> uh, what we eat, um, the food that we're eating, how, how many times a week we're exercising and, and such like. Yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's a complete package basically that we're trying to look at that, you know, what is so different between our lifestyle and that of your, you know, your general Caucasian man, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And what is it that's causing us to be suffering from these illnesses and not, not, uh, you know, not these other people? Now, studio number should be running across the screen, inshallah. 0203-397-4740. That's 0203-397-4740. Give us a call, inshallah. If you know anyone who, or just give us a call anyway. Just have, you know, have, a, have a chat with us. But if you do know anyone who is suffering from <coughs> certain illnesses, which again, predominantly in Bengali, you know, your, your, your types like you know, your diabetes and your, your heart diseases and cholesterol. And cholesterol, I think, I, I don't think I've heard of any Bengali who actually that has never have, suffered. Yeah, it, have, you know, yeah. at, at one point <coughs> hasn't suffered from it. Give us a call, inshallah. Student number again, running across the screen, 0203-397-4740. Now, um, a few days ago, obviously, you know, me and my we sort of went out and just went to visit the local people, the local public, and sort of get their views on it. So inshallah, um, we've got a short clip for you 
um, where you know we've gone and asked these people, inshallah. So let's uh, have a listen to th their views, inshallah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what are your eating habits like? Well, my eating habits are absolutely rubbish, to be honest. Um, main, the main reason why that is is because of the diet that we follow. You know, mainly, you know, our diet consists of rice and curry. Curry, which has been a main, um, you know, how shall I say, it's half of it is just oil. Yep. You know, when we make a curry, like a chicken curry or meat curry. So yep. that, I think because of that, it increases our, you know, um, illnesses such as high cholesterol, diabetes and everything. Because even when you go to the doctors, like my mum suffers from a very, quite a few of these illnesses. Sure, sure. And the, main, the first thing that the doctors turn around and say, it's the food that we have yeah. unfortunately you know it's also become a cultural thing for us where yeah. we have to have rice yeah. nowadays you know the younger generation they're following like a strict diet unfortunately for myself as you can see i'm a bit overweight as well you know it's i practically survive on junk food we're discussing about um bengalis and their health you know e eating habits and their lifestyle habits and you know why for some reason you know bengalis have a high number of people who are suffering from you know your high blood pressure your you know diabetes cholesterol now if i start with yourself um yes. what's your what's your daily eating habits like you know what, what kind of food do you eat i to be honest i'm very cautious because i've had health problems myself okay so i i only eat once a day okay i'd i'd have a heavy breakfast in the morning okay. which is about half 10 11 o'clock have a full-on your eggs beans toast whatever you call it and then I won't eat anything throughout the whole day and I'll have my dinner about half six, seven o'clock, which is yeah. your standard um, yeah. rice and curry. Right. Okay. Now you've said obviously that you have uh, become more cautious because of um, your, your health habits. Before you, d you had these health issues, yes. what was your eating habits at that time? I used to eat whenever, to be honest. I, and whatever? I used, to, I, I used to live on fast food. I, yeah. There wasn't a day by where I didn't have a kebab. Okay. So, you know, and best kebab just up the road <laughs> is, is, is the best place. Yeah. Us Asians, I think we, we tend to have a lot of oily junk food like curries and um, we're always eating those kind of junky type food like more, deep, more deep fried food, samosas, yeah. pakoras, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, in the morning, like, you know, like probably parat in the morning and then um, lunch and rice and curry again, dinner, lunch and curry. There's always the oily food, there's nothing healthy. Not much, enough exercise, not, not enough like going outside in the morning, walking around. Assalamu alaikum, Lieutenant Baisab. So, I have a program for the Asian Bangladesh, which is healthy eating. So, I have a lot of time for you. I have usually day to day basis. I have a lot of time for you. Fruit, vegetable, rice, fish, meat, like this. Okay. Afne khui ba rice and curry afne shaftar maza khoto din khain. The maximum time. Afne shaftar maza khui ba khoto din afne exercise khoroin. Exercise ek tu khom hui kori. Khan kaze tu busy ta ki. Okay. Ta amne sometime ami walk kori. The half kilometer like this. Yeah. Amra Bengali khoto maza khub beshi high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. Afnar zidi main khun naam ya afnar zikay afnar ke seeta khun khun zati be marasan hai. Jina amar se idhar ne na hai to be mudde ami dekh sila hum jama to cholesterol na kita doctor bol chilo ta okhna abar abadat ami good. So afnar opinion or maze e khun kharon or lagi amra e problem hai. E to mano khun jada bitik samra khas kuri na walk kuri na tar pora mano jada exercise kuri na ek zaga bosha taki khai. बेड़ो सुईया जाए, ज़ार दुनिया डायबिटिक्स होया जाए। आज जो दे आम्रा हार्ड वर्क कोरी, बकास कोरी, तो ले डायबिटिक्स ही देखी चुना ना थी। सर अपने रेकमेंड कर बा आम्रा व्यूअर होल तो रे किता खाईता और किता खोरता हेल्थी बन लगे। हेल्थ वर्ज़ जो ना आमर मन हो बेजिटेबल डेट वालो, मुद्दे � Cholesterol, um, diabetes, heart disease. It's a prochur. Man, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not 
কারণ আমরা ফেট জিনিস খাই অনেক সময় এক্সারসাইজ করি না খাইয়া ঘুমাই যাই কি কোনো ধরনের যে নাই আমরা ভেজিটেবল খাওয়া অনেক জরুরি এক্সারসাইজ করা অনেক জরুরি আমরা যে করি আর যেমন ওয়েলি জিনিসগুলা এগুলা না খাওয়াটাও ভালো লাগে উত্তরে কমাইয়া খাওয়াটা সব থেকে বেশ উত্তম আচ্ছা এখন আপনার আপনার যে ডেইলি আপনি কি তা খাইন খুব কথা না আমি নরমাল তো রাইসও খাই কোন রাইস এন্ড খাই বাট আমি খুব সেফলি খাই এগুলা যে আমার নিজের কোলেস্ট্রল আছে যে করি আমি এখন মনে করি অনেক কম আমার কোলেস্ট্রলটা যে করি এখন আপনি আপনার আপনার যে কোলেস্ট্রল আছে আপনি কি রাখো মাইছেন কোলেস্ট্রল আমি ডাক্তার তো কিছু ঔষধ আনি মেডিসিন আনি খাইছি যে করি এরপরে আমি নিজে এক্সারসাইজ করি এর বাদে ওয়েলি খানিটা কম খাই আমি যে করি রাইট টাইমে খাই না রাইট টাইমে ঘুমাই না আমরা খাইয়া অন্তত পক্ষে অনেক সময় এক ঘন্টা দেড় এক বইতাম যে করি এগুন ডাইজেস্ট হইতো তার বাদে বেঠো যাইত যে হয় না এই তো এগুলো প্রবলেম হইব যে করি হেলথ লাগে তো এগুলো ইয়া নিজের স্বাস্থ্যরে বালা রাখার লাগে নিজে সচেতন থাকা আর এগুলো থাকি কিলা বাসিয়া থাকা ডিজিজ নানান ধরনের প্রবলেম থাকি বাসিয়া থাকা এগুলো Assalamualaikum. So obviously you've been listening uh, to some of the viewpoints of uh, some of the people. And we, we sort of try to catch on a range of people there. You know, you had the youngsters, you had the elders. And I think one, one of the first things uh, that sort of caught on there and, and what was sort of common amongst all, you know, all of the answers that we received there was our eating habits and our, you know, uh, bad eating habits to say. multiple factors in relation to eating habits because not only are we eating bad no. um we're eating at the wrong times yep. as well um the vast majority of of bengalis you know th- th- they will not eat anywhere between 8 9 o'clock yeah i mean the most uh, most of the families that i know they eat after you know 8 9 o'clock and then oh, what, once once you've eaten after that sort of time your does your food get enough time to digest you know um it's mainly curry based uh, oil based food that, that you're food, consuming yeah. um so obviously it is going to result in you know fat yeah. fat within yourself um again leading to strokes leading to uh, diabetes leading to heart attacks um and and it's it's quite shocking that these illnesses are quite prevalent amongst uh, the bengali community and um, obviously we, you know when you talk about rice and curry and look every bengali Bengal- needs yeah, rice of and course, curry to of be course, honest of course of course but obviously with our you know eating habits and the times that we are actually eating our food you know if we are going to go for rice and curry you know oily based food and fried food perhaps we should maybe we should change our diet to timing so that of course if we're going to have that kind of food have it lunch time so we've got yeah. enough time yeah. to then burn that off and you know actually digest the food um and then probably in the evening have mm-hmm. something which is less fattier of course and you know at the end they were sleeping you're not really needing that much energy anyway yeah yeah um uh, probably have something a lot more healthier Um so yeah I mean obviously you know dietary issues uh, is a problem um you know the the type of foods that we have and P- plus it's, it's a lifestyle thing as well um you know whether whether you're doing enough exercise whether you're walking uh, all of these sorts of things that you know um it it make, makes a massive difference yeah. to your general health i mean if you're eating a lot and if you're eating fatty foods but then if you're exercising and sweating and going down to the gym or just going for a yeah. walk even It's I mean if we, if we sort of we'll discuss the lifestyle yeah. I, I guess uh, in a bit and, and that was one of the points I guess raised with them but if if we just initially if we, I guess if we just stick to the actual eating habits mm-hmm. um I mean obviously one of the things that doesn't help and this is in no way trying to you know stop business going to you know legitimate muslim businesses or anything but there are a high number of fast food outlets out there which um you know sort of tempt our youngsters to go and eat there you know you've got your with that name the mini PFC and and yeah, yeah, yeah. and sure. the, the like basically sure. where you could get a meal for like 253 pounds so not only is it tempting because it it does taste nice you know let's not yeah. be around the bush it yeah. does taste nice but it's also cheap as well yeah so i mean how do we go around that i guess because you know we've got well, young r- right who, now that there's an epidemic in in tower hamlets predominantly whereby young children are becoming um, clinically obese yeah. uh, which basically means they're becoming fat um simply because children are coming out of school um or you know at lunch time they're eating fast food mm. they're finishing school coming out of school eating fast food um parents aren't giving them a healthy packed lunch um and they're just eating essentially junk all day yeah. um and and to be fair the packed lunch was never cool was it <laughs> <laughs> packed lunch isn't cool fair enough yeah. um but uh your health is very important yeah. and and parents need to be aware that you know if if these children at this age are becoming clinically obese uh, then later on in life it is going to cause them massive problems because it is it is a problem like you said because with these kids um 
at lunchtime, you know, they're going and they're having their chicken and chips or chicken burgers or donut kebab, whatever they're having. And then as soon as they leave uh, school, on the way home, they're having the same, you know, the same food as well. So there needs to be some sort of a balance here. There needs to be some sort of education to the youngsters as well. And perhaps what we need um, is, is probably what we, ha- we sort of thought like an overhaul in, uh, in the primary schools was this sort of like this Jamie Oliver this style thing eating. where healthy eating. You know, perhaps <coughs> we need like our Bengali Chef Jamie to, Oliver to yeah, come to, forward to, and to actually propose and some sort of healthy food, which is actually nice. And I don't mean, you know, give them a plate of leaves and say, I, eat this. I, I think it would be interesting to hear from our viewers um, in relation to what they give to their children um, to eat at school yeah. and whether, whether their children are eating um, fast food mm. um, you know, at school and, and whether they're given a little bit of pocket money yeah. to, to, to be eating to be eating fast food and chicken and chips yeah. at school and, and after and school. I mean, I remember one thing, obviously, when I was growing up, and I'm sure this is probably the same with you and mm-hmm. probably a lot, a lot mm-hmm. of other people, you know, viewers who are watching as well, is that, you know, our parents and our, you know, sa, 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 you know yeah. the elders used to say that if you don't have rice, you're not going to ever get filled <laughs> up. Like, if, that's it, you've just not eaten. If you've not had yeah, rice, yeah. you've not eaten. Now, I'd like to just ask, and, you know, hopefully, you know, we've got some uncles and aunts who are watching this program. You know, why do you think that is? You know, when you, you know, wh- why do we have that type of mentality, I guess, that, you know, if you're not having rice, you know, you must be like starving yourself or you must be, you know, remaining hungry. Again, look, the studio number hopefully should be running across the screen, inshallah. 0203-397-4740. Just, just, as, a, just as a statistic, um, if, if I can get in here, um, one statistic is that mortality rates um, are 40% greater amongst Bengalis um, when they have coronary heart diseases. So 40% of more Bengalis would die of coronary heart diseases than any other race of people with the same illness. It's a shocking statistic, um, you know, I, I, as, as you said before, I, I don't know of many Bengalis that don't have um, high cholesterol or, you know, blood pressure or diabetes or, you know, one of the three or even all three of them together. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we, we're just trying to get to the bottom of that. And, and the thing is, getting obese, I mean, look, you can, you can, you can eat well um, and, you know, have, have your odd uh, fat food, oily food and non-healthy food. And, but that combined with, I guess, a healthy lifestyle will combat any sort of risks, you know, that you, you could possibly encounter later on in life. But there's, there's, there's so many harms that are associated with obesity. And it's not just your health risks. I mean, I, I'd like to just put a, you know, put a little spanner in the works as well. But to say that it's not just a health risk, but being fat sometimes, it affects you spiritually. Now, you know... And this is not being bad in any way, but if you go to the mosque, you know, and, and, you, and you sort of, you, you, you sit around and you see the type of people that walk in, normally it's like the slightly overweight, chubby, fatter people, you know, they can't pray properly now. They need to pray on a chair now. Um, mm. And so that kind of uh, lifestyle or eating habit is now affecting them spiritually because I see a lot of them, you know, as soon as they're walking into the masjid, they're out of breath. So wait a minute, if you're panting away in Namaz, you can't actually concentrate in, 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 in prayer as well. Mm, so mm. There, there's a, a huge... But it, but it leads to other things as well, doesn't it? Arthritis, mm. um, your bones are having to take yeah. more weight, yeah. um, you know, joint problems, and it, it just makes people more frail. Um, I think one of the problems that we have is, is prevention and understanding amongst the Bengali community because although we are at 40% increase um, than any other race of these illnesses, and this isn't something new, this is something that's been going on you know, over a prolonged period of mm. time, but yet Bengalis don't seem to want to do anything about it. Um, you know, they don't seem to want to, to, to heed the lessons of what the doctor's saying or, you know, what their they children say. They don't do they? Yeah, yeah they don't. It's, it, it, as, as you quite rightly said, you know, a lot of Bengalis, um, if they don't have rice, you know, they're fed by them. You know, they're fed by them. They're fed by them. You know, they're fed by them. Um, and this is, this is a very big problem, you know, we need to learn to eat um, healthier foods. I've not, you know, vegetable boiled khuriya khawka, chicken grilled khuriya khawka, you know, khani mozoi to mozoi bo, but different lahan, you know, randoka, to khom tel dia randoka. So on that point, inshallah, again, we'd like to uh, invite our viewers, inshallah, give us a call, let us know, I mean, you know, let us know your, your viewpoints on, on, on this issue about healthy living, inshallah. Uh, we're going to go for a very short break. Do stay tuned uh, and join us after the break, inshallah. Studio number again, 0203-397-4740. See you after the break, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. 
Assalamu uh, Welcome back to Young and Gifted. And today's episode where we're discussing uh, Bengalis and healthy living, or I guess the lack of healthy living that we have. Uh, just before the break, obviously, we were watching uh, some video uh, clips of uh, some people that we'd interviewed uh, just not too long ago and sort of just wanted to get their viewpoint on, on why, it, you know, what our lifestyle generally is like and why, you know, it is that Bengalis are, you know, suffer from, uh, you know, your heart diseases yep. and your cholesterol and your diabetes, why, you know, it's prevalent in, in another, our society. Another fact is um, South Asian men, Bengali men, are 50% more likely to get heart disease than any other kind of men yeah. in the world. See, the thing is, and, and, that, and that's the scary thing, that these statistics are available, and you'd think that if these statistics are available, people start taking heed, yeah. that people would actually think, you know what, look, okay, I'm born into this particular See, region a, a, of the a, world. A lot of studies have shown um, that the, the problems that we have uh, as Bengalis uh, or as Asians in general, we don't take on the advice. Mm. Yeah? Um, we, we try to... Dr. Rikidazane. Dr. Rikidazane, yeah. I'm a little bit you know? Um, you know, yeah. um, so it, we, we don't take heed of what we're told. I mean, I don't know whether that's due to um, a lack of understanding, um, a breakdown in the communication barrier between, you know, the doctors and, and patients. Doctors, yeah. You know, th th yeah, there is probably a range of stuff. If there are any doctors, um, you know, v watching the show, uh, please do call up um, and, you know, and tell us yeah. what the problems are with, with these, uh, you know, with the Bengalis and why they're prone to suffering and from. And probably the type of patients they have and what kind of illnesses they see, yeah, yeah, um, I absolutely. guess predominantly in the Southeast Asian. I mean, one thing that you know <clears throat> I wanted to touch on again is obviously you know I sort of touched on it just before the break, and it was about not just I guess the uh, health, uh, not just the health harms uh, that obesity brings along, but it's also the sort of spiritual harms that we see. Um, and one thing I wanted to also just touch upon now as well is the Sunnah aspect of actually eating, because. Obviously, you know, with the Prophet Sallallahu he came and he, he showed us ways of living a life in every aspect. You know, from eating to, to you know, our, our marital relations, you know, our responsibility as a father, as a grandfather, as a leader, as a, as a shepherd, as a businessman. You know, he showed us how mm -hmm. to live a life in every aspect. And eating and food was one of those aspects. Yeah. You know, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has, you know, he's mentioned to the newest meaning that our food or our stomach should consist of only one third food, food. a third water, and the, the, the last that should actually be for air. You know, but how many of us, honestly, uh, and I'd like to actually hear from you guys who actually maybe can actually say, yeah, I actually follow that. But how many of us actually do follow that? You know, rather than actually stuffing but, our faces. But, but when the food tastes so good, you can't stop eating it. And that's the problem. <laughs> and that's the problem because, so, so okay, so now you've mentioned that. Is our problem discipline? Absolutely. Is it discipline? You know, and this is I, again I, I, th I think it's one of the many factors. Yes, of you course. Know, discipline, um, you know, our eyes are bigger than our stomach. Um, you know, we, we have the whole, uh, the culture of, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, and, and then, you know, it's, uh, the rice is slammed on yeah. and then you've got a heap of rice and, and curry on a plate. That you could feed it, the whole third world probably. Yeah, food. exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, we just, we just don't stop eating. Um, whether it's whether it's rice, whether it's mishti, whether it's you know whatever it is, it's I think it's cultural to, to eat. Yeah. You know. And then you complain of stomach ache, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you've eaten, eaten. Yeah, complain exactly. later yeah. or have yeah. your gaviscon or whatever <laughs> you have to just take away that heart heartburn, heartburn, heart disease. Later. Yeah, absolutely. But but look, honestly, on a serious note, how many of us actually follow the sort of Islamic uh, principles, I guess, on eating, and how, you know, and the ones who do follow. You know, tell us how you've actually physically felt the benefit and how you spiritually actually felt the benefit as well. Because, again, it sort of comes into it. Because, obviously, if you're obese, then I guess a third of your food, you have not left for air, I guess. You've not left much space an, for Another air. statistic, which you probably didn't know as well, Bangladeshi men, st studies have specifically shown Bangladeshi men yeah. are 50% at more risk of having a stroke than men from any other walks of yeah. you know, life or society. Why is that? You know, did you have an answer for that at all? It's, you know, it's probably down to a combination of, of things such as, you know, their work, their lifestyle, <coughs> um, the, the, mm. the, you know, the lack of exercise. And, and this, this, is, this is such a big thing that... Yeah. I mean, I remember my dad um, actually mentioning this story to me because um, also when, when our dads and yeah, you know, yeah. our uncles, when they first came to the country, you know, we're talking sort of late 60s, 50s, 60s, that yeah. kind of yeah. period. And when they initially came, they didn't come with their missus. Mm. Yeah, they came here 
and it was like a bachelor's pad where you know four or five of them used to live together cook themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. and they cooked however best they knew how to cook <laughs> and i remember my dad actually saying that they didn't used to cook with oil they used to mm. cook with ghee yeah yeah with like lard and actually yeah. like as they call Fat. clarified butter yeah right they used to cook with ghee yeah. and that stuff is you know very bad for your health but it, it was one of those things where they came to a country they didn't know you know they had to sort of just adjust. survive and trend for themselves yeah, and yeah. just adjust and that's the kind of lifestyle I guess they brought upon themselves yeah, yeah because yeah. that's just what but they that, eventually but that, got that, used to. That was a necessity um, mm. and at that time that you know they had to just fend for themselves um, etc but now we're, we're like two or three generations down the line that yeah. can't be an excuse anymore you know um, we, we've got we've got much more spare time in our hands you know we're, we're much more educated we're much more literate um, we've got Bengali speaking doctors we've got Bengali speaking clinics nurses um, you name it. it there's just no excuse to, to, to you know yeah. not lead a healthy lifestyle now yeah there, there's gyms with women's only clinics classes I, uh, my mom goes to the gym um, I know that my mom you know loves to run my dad goes swimming with his friends um, so yeah I mean th there's just no there's no neat re reason um, to lead an unhealthy lifestyle right now. Do you mean your mum loves to run after you with her sandal? Is that, is that, is that the running that, bit that, that your no, mum No, does? that was when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now she just likes to run yeah. because she doesn't have to do that anymore. She doesn't have to do that anymore. <laughs> but but I, think, I think one thing that we're sort of um, understanding here and, and, and you know, with all the people that we've sort of spoken to as well is that there's a multitude of reasons that we have here which actually are the reasons of us having a very... Uh, unhealthy lifestyle and actually you know being sort of uh, prone to such illnesses um, obviously yeah we've got the healthy eating let's touch on I guess on our lifestyle the kind of stuff we do because like I said again when our parents first came to this country and yes I guess it was probably necessity they had to do these long hours they had mm. to work you know and it was stressful and they were yeah. away from their families yep. and you know and their, they had their one lifestyle. intention at that yeah, time absolutely. to be honest it was more Settle down or survive, basically. Or survive yeah. and you know, sort of, yeah, exactly. Mm, mm. Now, the thing is, so they had a reason why I guess you know they wouldn't go have gone to the gym, yeah, um, of course. Although I remember my dad saying they used to go to some public baths and stuff, but I think yeah, that's a different yeah. story. <laughs> but, um, but no, I mean, um, yeah, so I mean, they never used to go to the gyms or anything like that, but you know, things have developed um, over time. And, you know, you've got your gym classes available, like, you know, like my boobs mentioned, you've got classes for women, women only. Yeah. So, you know, our sisters and our mothers can actually go, you know, take his mum along with you. And, you know, so I think the reasons for us not to be healthy are not many. Um, but, you know, let, let's hear some more viewpoints, inshallah, and we'll come back. Uh, if we could take the first caller, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. I studio can look at to Matam Parmone. Gigi Hokafne. Gigi Hokafne. Oh, Limoni. Oh, I'm the Bemara said diabetes, cholesterol, Coltato, Uniacu Balak, Sevala, continue Horioki. So, none of the Hodna and Afna life tell Kila, Nikita. I'm a life killer to Tumiza, not at Makita. But I've never given a photo dino rice carry Hawaii. G. I've never heard for Tedino rice carry Hawaii. <laughs> Inshallah, <laughs> Inshallah, 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 Yeah, she gave her my nickname yeah. on live <laughs> air. Everyone knows now. But anyway, yeah, I'm Limon. Limon. I'm Limon. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, um, so, yeah, so just obviously, you know, just before we were mentioning uh, the call, um, just our kind of lifestyle, the kind of lifestyle we had, we had back then, and our fathers and our forefathers would have, would have gone through a certain lifestyle. But that was sort of forced on them. Of course. Now, they didn't have that time to go out and walk and jog and ride a bike and play sports and, you know, go to the gym. But now we do. But why do you, I'm going to ask you this. Why do you think, okay, your dad goes, yeah. yeah? A couple of other dads may go as well, but the majority don't. What's why? the reason still behind that? 
because they don't think it's worth their time probably they they think it's wasting their time um they probably think it's a waste of money you know paying 30 40 pound for gym membership you know but they, they don't they, have to join a gym necessarily they could just go for a jog fair enough fair enough but it's again it's making that effort and that intention i mean yeah. I, I know a, a strapping young man like yourself you know goes to the gym um yeah. you know how so much effort what, it is the way i see it is that our dads of that age now they probably feel you know what i've got to the end of my age now what's the point now let's well, just you know see that might be that might be the mm. intention of some people uh, yeah. But you know, I, I know my father. He, he you know he likes to go for a run. Yeah. Um, you know he likes to go swimming um, with his friends. Um, and yeah, I mean they, sure. they they do it as a group exercise, so it, it works out better for yeah. them. Uh, let's take another call, inshallah. Salam alaikum, caller. Hello, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Yeah, Program doctor say ko bal lagta say important message. I'm here to just am tam saida. As like minister, suit of a chente lega khawa. Man, amar sale ata doron art no ebosorer. She regular pack lunch ne. I'm here same which banana day. Same which I'm regular minister use kuri. So ita koto tu ko mano horon. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Um, ita baka fatty zinish. Um, you know, it just depends on. Like for example, mayonnaise um, is a lot of. Uh, it, it's not very healthy, to be honest with you. You can get low fat mayonnaise. You, uh -huh. can, you can get low fat mayonnaise, but it's it's not. You know, if it's egg mayonnaise or you know what kind of mayonnaise is it? You can get tuna mayonnaise. Um, even no. then, it's uh, mayonnaise is a, is a very fatty product, um, and it's not it's not that good for children. Okay. the manager bought la doro na apne atta kitha use kora jaye. Jono khata sandwich jo hon banai, to tuna fish to manage the soft kori. To healthy ya kuno process ase ni apna kaise jana apna jana mano And and you know what? I'm going to ask that question to the viewers, inshallah. <laughs> if, if there is anyone out there um, who, to be honest, we're not we're not, we're not actually or nutritionists or we're yeah, not health yeah. professional. We just we just want to bring out the uh, issue, issue yeah. out, you know, to the public. But I mean, ch tuna and cucumber um, is is a very healthy sandwich, uh, obviously. But main reason why they have to low fat main is of fiber. Low fat main. Uh, what about salad cream? Probably doesn't taste as good. Um, sa salad cream. Afnada, to be honest with you, Afnada, product the kia Afnada use use hortuba because you know I, I can't tell you what's you know what is the contents in salad cream right now. Um, but you know what? What I would say is. Um, I've not sorry. I've not said. What do you say? Have you? No, you've said me. Nearly no. Nearly no. Acha, acha, acha. How about the exercise? Do you have any? I'm not a lifestyle killer. I mean, sports. I mean, I've not said sports. I'm not. I'm not generally active. Ne. Active as a G. Active as a G. I'm not a bit shy to ask. Hmm. Because I'm not. I'm not a problem. Five. Bit shy, bit shy. Game. Hele. Yeah. Yeah. Sports, cricket, rugby, etc. But it's a lot of PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, Wii. Um, and this, this is making people unhealthier, unfitter, um, and essentially making people more obese. Um, and it is, a, it is a problem. Yeah. And you can Maybe, I mean, after that, the kind of father, like uh, Greek yogurt, low fat Greek yogurt. Greek, yeah. Maybe try that. Oh. Maybe, maybe he'll like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've never tell or bottle of that. I've never tell the other and then tell about that. Use olive oil or something. Yes, that's, absolutely. That's more yeah, healthier. Yeah. Grilled chicken sandwich. 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 Grilled chicken Grilled chicken sandwich. 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 The fat intake of our and children, also, and but another, also making sure that they're very important thing active. Um, Afnara, like, can you drink after you know, chill a little bit? I drink just water. Water, water. okay, that, that's very water. Water, 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 water or juice is, water. is very, very good. Water is like the best thing. Yeah, yeah. The sugar uh, I mean, stuff. children drink a lot of fizzy drinks. A lot of fizzy drink, and it's you know massive calories in in fizzy drinks, and you know it's a cause of, of you know fat, cholesterol, heart disease, you know di diabetes, all of that sort of thing. And emne emne gora apne nte kita kain o rice curry na. Bangali to most of the time rice curry. Ita sara difficult budi arjo hai. Af afne o inno kuno khani try khorsa ni afne gora maza. 
Like steamed, steamed or boiled vegetables, um, or pasta, or, yeah, you know, pasta, dry. you know, grilled chicken again, um, you know, boil, boil khoriya khani. It's different khani chai khorin zani because it's you know it tastes nice and you know uh, mm. it's it's different from rice and curry and also, as well. Also, khani. Look at do you have salad for example? Yes. Because our, our, generally our people like salad. What you're giving me a couple of leaves to eat yeah. as well. There's a lot of ways we can Gr- actually. Greek, Greek salads are very nice. Mm. Greek salads are very nice. You know, there's a lot of ways that olives. we could actually change our just the food we eat. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be boring. Because sometimes people think that if I'm not having like fat food tastes yeah. nice, and yes, fat food does taste nice. Mm. But there are alternatives yeah. that you can actually have. I mean, I, I touched on diabetes uh, a moment but, ago. Uh, Afat, thank you for your call. Inshallah, thank you for your nice advice. Yeah. Thank, thank, you you thank you very much. Eid Mubarak again. Eid Mubarak. Mubarak. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Yeah, sorry, yeah, you were saying. Yeah, that. so th- there were studies conducted from 1999 to 2004, uh, which shows that, you know, in, in out of Bengali men and women, men are more likely to get, uh, m- more likely to get diabetes. Um, and also that they're five, the Bengali men are five times more likely than any other kind of men to get you know, diabetes. So of all these illnesses that I'm talking about, you know, 40% more than any other mm-hmm. races, 50% more than any other it's races, rising, you know, f- yeah. fi- five times more than any other exactly. kind of men. Um, it's just, it's just a ridiculous, yeah. you know, figure. Um, so we need to, we need to be more preventative, I think, because shabat or diabetic or tablet khayra and, you know, cholesterol or shud no khayra. It's combating it just to, yeah. yeah, of course, you know, blood pressure tablets, khawala oh. gair, etc, etc. I, th- I think, um, you know, as opposed to curing an illness, yeah. I think we need to focus more on preventing. Prevention rather than yeah, actually exactly. treatment. Yeah, exactly. Let's take uh, another call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum as salam. Walaikum as salam, bravi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Well, I'm calling from East London. I'm yes. calling on behalf of someone. It's not for me. Okay. Okay, now someone, he ha- has a pretty good health. Everything is okay. But day by day, his belly is getting b- bigger. Yeah, uh, that will suffer suggest from that problem. Her, him for to how to reduce her, his belly. Okay. In order to reduce belly, uh, the, the best thing that I would suggest is to run. Okay. I mean, uh, run or walk or, you know, on a general day-to-day basis, get your heart rate up. Um, okay. uh, how much exercise does this person do? He doesn't do any exercise. Yeah, that, see, that's the problem. That, 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 that's because you've, you've already yeah, solved your you, problem there. Sol- because even if you're eating a little bit, I, I, tell, you, I tell you what a lot of Bengali people do, um, and, and, I've, and I've seen people do this as well. When you say to them, go on a diet or eat less, yeah. what Bengalis will do, they will eat one meal a day. Okay, yeah. and then they'll starve themselves for the rest of the day. But that's that the doesn't solution, work yeah. because what your brain does is your brain thinks that your body's starving. So when, once Store you've had fat. one meal a day, mm. it stores all the fat. It doesn't kill, you know, your, your metabolism slows down and it stores the fat. And essentially what it does is you can starve yourself for the rest of the day. Your belly will still be bloated. Mm. This is why during Ramzan, we all get fat during Ramzan because, you know, we eat, you know, uh, iftar and then sehri and then we starve ourselves for the rest of the day now our brain but doesn't know of course it's, it, it, yeah, well. it's the type of food but our brain doesn't know yeah. when is the next time we're going to get food within the system mm. so it stores so the I, th- fat. I think I think what you need to tell this person is, is that it's it's eat a range regular of meals that eat regular healthy meals yeah throughout the day eat regular meals but eat, at the eat same a time, nice healthy breakfast yeah. eat a nice healthy lunch and space it out yeah and you know like we were discussing before is that um, we, we have this eating time issue you know most of us you know we don't eat our dinner until like nine ten o'clock if, if you, and if then we're, we're if, off to sleep if, again if you don't mind me asking brother what sort of times does this person eat uh, i think we've lost the uh, caller. okay i think we might have lost the caller Sorry. but but look i mean he, he's touched on an issue there and to be honest it's probably predominant yeah. amongst Asians, Bengalis probably well, as well. Was not suffering from that? Yeah I'm, I'm trying to sit in, a, in an angle where you can't really see the bloatedness but um but no, but it is, it is an issue, and and like he, he sort of met, you know the, the brother just called and he mentioned that this person doesn't actually have doesn't exercise yeah, at all. At all yeah. So you know there's no but there's no miracle yeah. to losing a belly. But no, I, no, I'm I'm glad this person did touch did yeah. touch on this subject. No, of course, because it is it is a very big factor. You mm. know, like Bengalis, um, uh, general Bengalis, middle-aged yeah. Bengalis, they have the shape whereby you know they do all have a big belly. But it's 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 the 
health risks that are added to that. It's not, yeah, of okay, course. if it was just a bit of a bloated belly, that's one thing, but it's, it's, it's no, going to lead to there, all there the is other health, health issues. Exactly. Yeah, but in order to get rid of that belly, no, no, of um, if, if Ex- you raise your yeah. heart rate, if you eat right, if mm. you're being healthy, if you're leading a healthy lifestyle, you're not going to have that belly. And if you don't have that belly, that reduces the chances of these illnesses and diseases. Inshallah. Yeah, no, of course. So thank you, uh, brother, for that call, inshallah. If we can take the next call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Hello, Wa alaikum salam. Hello, Salaam alaikum. Is this uh, Mahbub Ahmed and uh, Asif Bai? Yes, uh, Salaam It's Abdul here, yeah? Abdul Mohit. Ah, Salaam alaikum. How are you doing? You okay? Okay, what should I say? Lemon Bai. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping the people have forgotten about uh, it. Just, but, but carry on. Eid Mubarak. Carry on. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Just, just to say, it's a very uh, good subject you've picked up on here. Uh, it's something it gets overlooked in our community. Yeah. Uh, I think we find ourselves as a community uh, uh, doing more office jobs. Our lifestyles have changed over the years. Mm. Uh, we're finding ourselves doing office jobs, our kids sitting around playing computer games or on the iPad and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And it's just, just a matter of changing lifestyle, I believe, uh, changing the way we eat, changing the way, uh, no, finding ways to be active. And it, I think our community has been left behind in that Absolutely. sense. Absolutely, uh, I agree with you. Uh, so is, it, is, it, is it more about discipline adopted, and time? Yeah, they've adopted a, a way of life. Yeah, they're doing office jobs, they're sitting mm. around, they're finding themselves sitting around doing the job a lot, but they take the time out to you know, uh, do their activities or ex- exercises and Absolutely. stuff like that. Absolutely, it's very important. Uh, outside of work, but it's just that our community haven't or are finding it difficult. Uh, be harder to uh, mm-hmm. make that change. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something we need to look at. And it's very yeah. why, why do you think that is, Abdul? I think it's just it's just the lifestyle. Uh, for us, I think after work, uh, we just come home and relax. Plus, and, if, you're, if you've the, got, if you're married, you're probably with... doing, which exactly. is probably not the right thing to do. Uh, we need to find mm. uh, or you know put aside some time to, uh, towards yeah. exercise. Plus, I guess if you're married and you've got kids, it makes it that much more difficult to then take a time yeah, but, uh, out of that the thing is every, every other community uh makes the, time. the same same yeah. issues yeah like no, something we need to change yeah. the mindset yeah. of our community i reckon Inshallah. Uh, no. No, no no definitely thank th- you thank you very Abdul much for your call for and it was very valid points and yeah. views thank you very much for that now uh obviously uh dear viewers obviously we're coming to the end of the show unfortunately and you know just as we I, th- warming I, think, up I, think, a bit. I think we've got quite yeah. a lot more to just, talk just, about just as we were sort of warming up and everything and you know i think we've had a a great range of uh, callers, um, you know, the people we've interviewed, and there's a lot of things that I think we as the community need to combat here, uh, you know, to do with healthy l- l- lifestyles, uh, you know, and I think our elders especially, because um, you know, once you get to a certain age, and mm-hmm. you know, all these statistics that you've just been firing out about mm. 50% more chance of heart disease and 50% more chance of you know, coronary strokes and, and, and yeah. all sorts, right? Yeah. And, you know, I, 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 to be honest, I don't know a single Bengali who doesn't have diabetes and cholesterol. You know, I think it, it's time that we sort of just take a step back and start taking heed on these issues. I, th- I think, we, yeah, as, 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 as the last caller quite rightly said, we do need to reassess the situation. Um, and, and the caller before, I, th- I think, it, you know, he made a very, very mm. important point at our diet and, and the way we eat. Yeah. Now, you know, trying to lose weight or trying to be healthy doesn't mean stopping eating yeah, yeah? And there's it no doesn't. magic formula yeah absolutely yeah. you have to keep eating but you have to eat healthy food yeah and at the I, same I think time. It's, it's a it's a it's a classic notion amongst bengalis that in order to become healthy you know we stop eating or we have one meal mm. a day um, but I think we do need to realize that we need to keep eating, but we need to eat healthy. Yeah. We need to have regular meals throughout the day, and we need to supp- supplement that with Couple exercise, with exercise um, together with you know raising your heart rate and you know moving Shall about, I. getting out, you, you know, getting your children out there. You know, stopping them from playing on PlayStation, yeah. telling them to go for a run Take or a something. Yeah. Football, absolutely, you know, absolutely. Father, father should get involved. Um, like we said, dear brother, inshallah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all our callers uh, who called in, shared their comments, views, um, and inshallah. Um, I hope it has been beneficial for everyone who has been watching. And inshallah, until next time, look after yourselves. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.